What are porphyry mineral deposits? Porphyry mineral deposits are large, low-grade mineral deposits that are typically found in association with copper, gold, and molybdenum. They are formed by the intrusion of magmatic fluids into the Earth's crust, which can alter the surrounding rock and deposit large amounts of mineralized material. Porphyry mineral deposits are typically associated with regions of active or recent volcanic activity, and are often found in association with other types of mineral deposits, such as epithermal gold deposits or scarn deposits. They are most commonly found in subduction zones, where one tectonic plate is being forced beneath another, and in continental rift zones, where the Earth's crust is being pulled apart. The formation of porphyry mineral deposits involves a complex interplay between magmatism, hydrothermal alteration, and structural deformation. It begins with the intrusion of a magma chamber into the Earth's crust, which can release fluids and gases that migrate into the surrounding rock. As these fluids and gases circulate through the surrounding rock, they can alter the chemistry of the rock and create a zone of hydrothermal alteration. This zone is typically characterized by the replacement of the original minerals with new minerals that are rich in copper, gold, and other metals. Over time, these fluids and gases can migrate into fractures and faults in the surrounding rock, forming veins and other types of mineralized structures. The deposition of copper, gold, and other metals is often associated with the final stages of hydrothermal activity, when the fluids are enriched with these metals as they cool and precipitate their dissolved minerals. Porphyry mineral deposits are typically low-grade, meaning that they contain a relatively small amount of metal per ton of rock. However, they are often large and can contain hundreds of millions of tons of mineralized material. This makes them attractive targets for mining companies, as they can be economically viable to mine and process. Porphyry mineral deposits are also often associated with other types of mineral deposits, such as epithermal gold deposits or scarn deposits. This can create complex mineralization patterns that can be difficult to map and understand. In conclusion, porphyry mineral deposits are large, low-grade mineral deposits that are typically found in association with copper, gold, and molybdenum. They are formed by the intrusion of magmatic fluids into the Earth's crust, and are often associated with regions of active or recent volcanic activity. The formation of porphyry mineral deposits involves a complex interplay between magmatism, hydrothermal alteration, and structural deformation, and they are often associated with other types of mineral deposits, creating complex mineralization patterns that can be difficult to understand. How are porphyry deposits formed? Porphyry deposits are formed through a complex process that involves several stages of geological activity. The formation of porphyry deposits begins with the intrusion of a magma chamber into the Earth's crust. This magma is typically derived from the partial melting of the mantle or the crust, and is enriched in a variety of elements, including copper, gold, and molybdenum. As the magma chamber intrudes into the crust, it heats and melts the surrounding rock. The heat and fluids released during this process can create a zone of alteration around the intrusion, called the potassic alteration zone. This zone is characterized by the replacement of the original minerals with new minerals, such as biotite, potassium feldspar, and magnetite. This alteration is caused by the release of fluids from the magma chamber, which react with the surrounding rock. The intrusion of the magma chamber also creates a zone of fracturing in the surrounding rock, which can be exploited by hydrothermal fluids. These fluids are typically hot, acidic, and mineral-rich, and can be derived from the magma chamber or from other sources. They migrate through the fractures and react with the surrounding rock, creating a zone of phyllic alteration. This zone is characterized by the formation of minerals such as sericite, quartz, and pyrite, and is typically found around the margins of the potassic alteration zone. As the hydrothermal fluids continue to circulate through the fractured rock, they can deposit minerals and metals in the fractures and in the surrounding rock. 
This process is called vein mineralization, and it is responsible for the formation of copper, gold, and molybdenum deposits in porphyry systems. The minerals that are deposited in the fractures are often associated with quartz, and are typically referred to as quartz veins. The deposition of minerals in porphyry deposits is often associated with changes in the fluid chemistry and temperature. As the fluids cool and the pressure decreases, they can deposit minerals such as chalcopyrite, bornite, and molybdenite. These minerals are typically found in the deeper parts of the porphyry system, and are often associated with the highest grades of copper and molybdenum. The final stages of porphyry deposit formation are often associated with the interaction of the hydrothermal fluids with the Earth's surface. This can result in the deposition of minerals such as gold, which are often found in association with epithermal deposits that are formed in the shallow parts of the porphyry system. In conclusion, Porphyry deposits are formed through a complex process that involves the intrusion of a magma chamber into the Earth's crust, the formation of alteration zones around the intrusion, the circulation of hydrothermal fluids through the fractured rock, and the deposition of minerals and metals in the fractures and in the surrounding rock. The final stages of porphyry deposit formation are often associated with the deposition of minerals such as gold, which are typically found in association with epithermal deposits that are formed in the shallow parts of the porphyry system. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.